Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a top of the line motorhome that gives you bunk beds and two full bathrooms. This is a 2022 Holiday Rambler Vacationer, model 36F. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Vacationer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. I am super excited to be showing you this top of the line Class A with bunk beds. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hey, everyone. How's it going today? It's going good. We are here at Motorhome Specialist yes. here in Alvarado, Texas. Yes. So hi, y'all. Hi, howdy, partner. You ready to show this vacation? I am. I'm super excited. Let's begin. Model is Holiday Rambler Vacationer 36F. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 38 feet 9 inches. This is the Vacationer from Holiday Rambler. It is sister products to the Fleetwood Bounder by Fleetwood. Right up front here, there really isn't too many differences when it comes to the motorhomes, but the headlight design is a big difference. This one says Holiday Rambler, and it's more of a boxy looking headlight design where a Bounder is a little bit more sharper and aggressive. We do have paint right up here. A nice big windshield and this does have the technology package right there which means it has like the collision mitigation and everything coming on down the side here we do have chrome mirrors on the left side and right side with cameras integrated in both mirrors because this is a new 2022 it does have the 7.3 liter v8 it is the gold wow. motorhome. <laughs> 350 horsepower and 468 pound feet of torque and then look at these tires and drains and the Michelins. I love those. 255-80R22.5 with the shiny Alcoa rims. And guess what's awesome about the Vacationer now, Andrea? What's that? You can now option this motorhome with the Liquid Spring four-point suspension. If you guys don't know what Liquid Springs is, it's the best aftermarket suspension that you can get on your motorhome. It, it turns, it literally turns your Class A gas motor home it feels like it's driving a diesel motor home we actually have a video dedicated to driving liquid spring will and jen actually did it at the fmca rally we'll link that video right up there for everybody to see but andrea it's expensive okay there's there's no question about it but what's great about it is it's a factory option so you don't need to buy a Fleetwood and then send it to Indiana to get put on and now you don't have your Fleetwood. You can, when you order a Fleetwood or a Holiday Rambler, it can already come with that. So when it gets del delivered to your dealership, you just drive away with the liquid springs. I love that. Fantastic. Yes. Coming on down the side here, full body paint standard on the Vacationer, which is very nice. Frameless windows, okay, you see that? And right here's your Truma Hot Instant Hot Tankless Water Heater. I love that. And then right here we do have a TV on the outside. With the sound bar. Yes, ma'am. Right here is going to be your propane tanks and your inverter. 2,000 watt. Yes, ma'am. And then right here, bing, that's all the specifications about the mo motorhome from uh, Holiday Rambler's website. Thanks so much, Jen. You got a propane quick connect? Yes, ma'am. Oh, and we do have a power awning with LED lights. Andrea, let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Very nice power awning, Andrea. And then I accidentally hit the double awning in, so now the awning's automatically coming in. Very nice. Right here, Andrea, we got very nice storage. Pass through? Yes, ma'am. I love these big aluminum stain latch doors. Pass through again. Okay. Very nice. Coming on down the side here, more storage. There's your hydraulic leveling. Okay. okay. More storage here. Very nice. And then a little bit about Holiday Rambler and Vacationer. What they do that's a little different than the uh, competitors is the fiberglass is one thick piece of fiberglass 
There is no Asdale, there is no Luon. Um, it's just a sheet of fiberglass, so it's pretty cool. Also, they have aluminum locking construsions for the sidewalls to the roof and the flooring, which means it's it's a perfect box every time. So less leaks. I wouldn't say less leaks, just foundationally stronger. Okay. More storage there. Okay, there's your ladder. That's our favorite kind. Yes, ma'am. We we couldn't bring our U steps through TSA with us. Coming around the back, Andrea. We do have a nice fiberglass rear cap. 5,000 pound hitch, this motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Right up there is your backup camera. Look at how great the rear of this motorhome looks. So let me, let me educate people real quick. This is a fiberglass rear cap right here, okay? If you look at this Holiday Rambler Admiral, this is cheaper, less expensive. The side fiberglass meets the rear and this the piece that connects it together. It's just better this way, you know what I'm saying? It's built better, it's gonna last longer, but it's also gonna be $50,000 more than an Admiral. Also, there is a one-piece TPO roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. All right, hold on. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece TPO roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Max air fans throughout this whole motorhome. Wi-Fi Ranger, King Air digital antenna, solar right there, and a satellite on the roof. Okay, Matt, hold on. Oh, all right, two steps. Last step. Huh. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What other RV salesman's gonna come to the Lone Star State and take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what Features Roof has to offer. Nobody. Texas. Coming around, 50 amp power cord with an electric reel. I love that. Surge guard protector right in there. Over here, Andrea, your wet bay area. Black and gray tank dump station, outdoor shower, water purifier. Very nice. Coming on down the side here. We do got more storage. And look, it does come with a, its own stinky slinky. Nice. I love that. Okay. Coming around, we got storage here. Okay. More storage the other side. Fabulous storage Pass right here. Pass through. Yes, ma'am. More storage. Okay. And then you can see your wedge tanks, the, your wet wedge fresh water tanks right there. And then here's your generator. It is your own and 5500 QG generator. Very nice. And this is for your potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Well, Andrea, the outside of the vacationer looks great, but the inside does look even better. Let's go take a look. Check out the inside. All right, Matt, wow. we need the cargo carrying capacity. 4,066 pounds. All right, here we go. Let me do my 360 here. Yeah. And look at this walkway space. Okay. Very nice for a bunk area. Pretty good. We can obviously open the fridge because there's plenty of space. It does get tight through here where the bunks are. So let's see. Here is the other full bath. And then going to the master bedroom, it does get tight. I have to turn sideways. And it looks like you can use the bed with the slide in, so that's great. Okay, let me just back up. Sorry, guys, I don't want to make you dizzy. Okay. Yeah. And Andrea, while I'm getting the slide outs out, let's take a quick second to thank the sponsor of this episode. U-Steps is an easy to use telescoping ladder. Very easy to store and bring with you in your RV. With their rubber tops that works individually on uneven surfaces and avoids sliding and damaging walls, adjustable heights to extend to only your desired height. And finally, the angulated rubber feet maximize surface contact to avoid slipping. We have a video demonstrating the U-steps that we have. Make sure you guys check out that video. We will link it down in the description below. Also, we have a link to Amazon to buy their three ladders. Thank you so much to U-steps for sponsoring this video. Well, Andrea, now the slide outs are out. It makes a world of difference, doesn't it? Oh, wow. Very nice. Let's get started up front here, the cockpit area. 
And uh, yes, we do have the heat blasting, Andrea, right here in the cockpit area. You have your auto leveling right here, cup holders, okay? Front blinds, you can push them down. You got the MCD blinds. You have a daytime blind and a privacy blind, which I like. You do have one of your camera screens right here. Nice 7.3 liter V8 with the uh, nice dash area. And then there is a little nook and cranny back here that you can see that you can hide some stuff. And then right here is your radio player. Um, Sony, you can do, hang on, I think. Yep, Bluetooth, rear camera as well. Okay, I don't believe there's Apple CarPlay or Android Auto there. Three cup holders there. Andrea, how do you feel? I like it. And you know what? There's a footrest here. Okay. So you can swivel both these seats. Yes. And actually sit back and relax. There's a pedestal table here. And what do we got? Very nice. Look how sturdy that wow, is. Wow, much better. Yes. Okay. Yes. We do have the daytime and nighttime MCD shades here, which is nice. Perfect. There's daytime and nighttime. Okay. Very good. I like that there's a cup holder here. Yes. Map light, so I can turn that fan on. Uh huh. And then we do have some cubbies here. Okay. And we've got the slide cabinet. Slide to the left. We've got a and this TV one slides here. to the right. TV, and that's just going to be a lot of your electronical components. Got a nice hide aloft. Yes, Euro loft, hide aloft. Oh, we turn the key on. 500 pounds. Yep, and There's this is made. Yep, this is made by Lippert, and uh, it it is one of the best beds out there. It has a ladder that comes with it. Yep. So we have a nice kind of foam mattress. Yeah, and underneath is these like um types of things, the planks of wood that makes it more comfortable or whatever. So it's very nice. And then what is nice is that we have the key to lock it and unlock it pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Look, they have a little balance over the doorway right here. How do you like that? Cute. How do you like the balances? Uh, uh, I think they're cute. It's like a Art Deco baseball field. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. And then over here, Andrea, is the dinette area. I love this. Me okay? too. So you got the cup holders in the dinette. Fleetwood, Holiday Rambler have always had some of the most comfortable dinettes. I love the way they design it. They they design it more like, more like a, a sofa. sofa. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then underneath the dinette, they give you storage. Yes. Slide out drawers there, and slide out drawers there. And then when you are ready to make the bed, you drop that down. No plain Tetris here, guys. No Very cushions nice. popping out on you or nothing. So this right. is great. You just slide them. And that's it. Then you have the bed. Which makes a very comfortable dinette bed because trust me, there's a lot that aren't so comfortable. This one's very comfortable. Well, it's more comfortable than competition. That's what I mean. It's not it's not a Serta, if you know. No, what I'm but it's it's nice because you don't have to play with the cushions. Yes. And then over here in the living room area, nice little window right there. Cup holders back there behind the sofa. How do you like the cabinetry colors, Andrea? It's a little dark, but I think I still like them. Um, what say you? It's too dark for me. And I'm Is not, it too dark? Yeah, okay. I'm not a fan of the glazed look. Really? I like it. I, I like the glazed cabinets. <laughs> Andrea, I like my cabinets like I like my donuts. Yes. Glazed. <laughs> right here, we have a very comfortable sofa. What I love about the sofa, Andrea, is the placement. First, before I mention it, you have to remember that we are in a bunkhouse motorhome that has two full bathrooms. So you can't be picky and choosy when it comes to placement. This placement's awesome, because look at that. And this is also a jackknife. Yes. Okay. And it is directly across from the TV Entertainment Center. So we got some cabinets up here. Yes, ma'am. And then we've got this nice TV. And yep. with a sound bar. And a fireplace underneath. What Very is great nice. about that fireplace is it does produce heat from electricity. Andre, would you like to show everybody the kitchen? Yes. Would you like to remind them about something first? We have now partnered with RVR, yep. so we are able to accommodate everybody in almost all the states yep. with the dealership near you that will have this. Yes. So, so make sure you go to our website and you click on that first tab and you fill it out. That way we can find the nearest dealership near you that sells this. Yes. Thank you to RVR. Yes. Thank and, you, RVR. And Motorhome Specialist is in that network. That's why we're here. Absolutely. So show us that okay. pantry. So this is, looks like it would be the pantry. Yes. Um, we have adjustable shelves, okay. which I love. And then we have these drawers here. You got a cushion 
and then pull them out. So that's nice that they give you a pantry. A lot of times you won't see that with bunkhouse models. Right. Oh, this kitchen's beautiful. Look at this. Love that window. Yes. Adjustable shelves here. Very nice. Beautiful backsplash. Okay. Love that panoramic window. Beautiful solid surface countertop with a double sink. Very nice. Got an extension here. And then we have a cabinet here. Okay. And then... Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Fleetwood. <laughs> a Fleetwood bag. That's All funny. All right. Plenty of space for a trash can. We've got four drawers here. See, people don't believe us when we say it's the same but different. Uh, we got an Insignia yes. uh, convection microwave. Very nice. And then we have a Dometic three burner propane cooktop. Yes, ma'am. How do you like this backsplash? I love it. Yeah. And I love that nice big window right there. It's Me a very too. nice feature. We got an oven. Domatic. Okay. We got a residential uh, Samsung refrigerator. Yes, ma'am. Turn off your inverter, everybody. Okay. We got a nice sized freezer here. Wow, this is one of the biggest fridges. Again, in a bunkhouse motorhome, I mean, you definitely need that. Okay. Okay. Let's show everybody these, uh, not the bunks. Let's show the first full bathroom. Okay. Get the lights on. Oh, oh we have a regular door here. Okay. Small shower. Small shower, yeah. But again, Andrea. Get in there, Matt. Let's see. <laughs> damn, 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 damn. I mean, it's definitely doable. And the whole fact of the matter is, Andrea, that it's two full bathrooms. It's not just a half bath. Why don't you show us uh, what's going on in here? Okay, we have a lot of uh, counter space. Yeah. Nice medicine cabinet. Very nice. Uh, oval sink. Oops. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did I do that? Yeah. <laughs> Lavatory right Hold there. On. Top one. And then, no oh, fan. Okay. Perfect. We got a cabinet under there. Everybody. Yes, ma'am. And let's check out that toilet, Matt. Andrea, I think our luck is starting to change. I know, finally. Because this looks like it's in a good position. Oh, yeah. Porcelain. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is a prime poop position. Yay! Very nice. All right. Okay, now into the bunk What's bed area. What's in here? All right, so opening these bunks, Andrea. See, this is what I love. This is what I love. Bunk bed's right here, right? Top bunk, lower bunk. The cushion isn't right here. There's a little ladder, okay? But it's this, Andrea. Yay! Flip up out of the way. For wardrobe. For wardrobe space, because it has a little wardrobe thing right there. Or for dog crates. Or if you only have one kid and he doesn't want to feel like he's in a coffin, or she, you know what I'm saying? It's plenty big enough. And listen, it is nothing to add a little slit here. I love the fact that it flips up out of the way. And look at that. They gave you drawers under there. Yes. You get four of them. See, I like that. Four drawers. Very nice. I don't know how I feel about the I, doors. I, I agree with the doors. But look, Matt, across from it. Yes. Storage right here. Fuse box. TV. And a little bit more storage. That's nice. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. And then coming on into the master bedroom. We do have a pocket door. That's a sliding door. Yes. Into the bedroom. Uh, king size bed. Camper king size bed. Um, there's the other mattress for that bunk bed. We've got a nightstand nice here, everybody. Yes. Electrical outlet. Nice headboard. Plenty of storage above. And do you know what this is for, Andrea? Yes, for your CPAP. Yes. So you plug your CPAP machine in here, and then you run the hoses down there. Posing windows. Very nice. Cross ventilation. Yep. And then, oh wow. Yes. Here we go with the wardrobe. Wow. Oh, I like that. I like that it has a place for shoes. Hey! That's a $104 trash can. It sure is. And then we got a nice big drawer there. Yes, ma'am. Okay, got the TV. With storage behind it. Very nice. Yep. And then they gave you four big drawers. One. Okay, Matt. Two, three. Nice. And four. Okay. And then going into the master bathroom, we have a sliding door. Well, oh, did we quick. forget the storage under there? Yes. Okay, there we go. And there's that pedestal table for the front for yes, the driver and passenger seat. Yes. And then this is a better bathroom. This, you know, at the end of the day, I can say that that's a small shower, but that's also for the non paying customers. Paying customers get a nice one piece fiberglass shower with a seat in the shower. Okay, look at this. This is very interesting setup here. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a medicine cabinet right here. Very nice. Uh, another cabinet here with a drawer that you can put whatever. Okay. We've got a nice window here, your exit window. Very nice. Um, 
Hmm, what's in here? I don't know. Why don't you check? Oh! A combo washer and dryer. So I can see why they have the counter here. You know, to fold clothes or something. Yes. That's kind of nice. Yes. A little sink. Okay. And then let's see, Matt. Let's see if we go for two. Whoa, you're telling me. Yesterday we were here all day without a prime poop position, and today we might get an 8P. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I spoke too soon. Oh no. Psych! <laughs> this is a prime poop position. Bing! That's eight Ps, Andrea. I know. Good job, Holiday Rambler. Great job. Now, Andrea, everybody's dying to know what the MSRP is, and we will break that down for you in a few moments. But first, we have to do something even harder. We got to tell people three things we like about it and three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Uh, I want to do three things that we dislike about it. Okay, I only have one. I have some. You go first. Okay, I am going to go first, and I probably am stealing yours. You probably are. But it's okay. Um, I, I am not a fan of this at all. Yep. The the, the doors on here would drive me crazy. Absolutely. We've, I, There's I nothing just, to say about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm afraid they would break. Yep. A hundred, hundred thousand percent. That's like, my... I like the idea. I like, it, it's, it's funny. I like how classy it looks yeah. when it's closed. But when you're using it, it's going to be a pain in the butt. Can I do number two? You can do number two. Go okay. ahead. Okay. So I don't like this glossy look in here. No! I, I feel like it's already dark. And that's okay because there's different color palettes for these motorhomes. Yep. But I just don't like the glossy look. It's too much. Okay. Okay. That's number two. And Andre, I do have number three. Okay. That is going to be the ladder on the back. Womp womp. Listen, guys. I climb my fat ass up on ladders for a living. <laughs> There's a reason why we partner with U-Step, because the ladders are already sketchy, but for the Fleetwoods and Holiday Ramblers, those ladders back there, I am not a huge fan of. And I understand why they do it. It's so you can take that bottom part off so somebody can't climb up on your roof. I'm just really not a fan of that, personally. You know, quite frankly, I'd rather not have, if you're worried about people climbing up on the roof, I'd rather not have a ladder at all. Right. You know? Well, Andrea, Got that out of the way. That was three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. May I go first? Sure. I want to give them kudos to the cockpit area. I think it looks really good. I love this seat right there. Look at the Holiday Rambler embroidery on that. Okay. And I love the computer tray for the passenger. It's very firm and tight and, and it feels really good. That's number one. Andrea, number two. Okay, I gotta give props. Give I props. love this kitchen. They did a good job with this kitchen. Yes. I love all the counter space here. Beautiful backsplash. And my favorite thing really is I love this window. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. That window, Andre, is fan freaking tastic. It is. And I'm gonna do number three if you don't mind. No, go ahead. Number three, Andrea, is the simple things in life. Is this living room area here. This you have to remember. This is a 38 foot motorhome with bunk beds and two full bathrooms. What that means is if there's a crappy TV placement, you have to live with it. You know why? Because you're getting bunk beds and two full bathrooms. Right. The fact that they were able to engineer it this way to where you get that and you are still looking head on at your TV. I absolutely love that. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Wow, Matt, we haven't done that in a while. Right. Well, we've been waiting till the end. Okay, we said high end. We said luxury. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome here is... $242,743. Andrea, MSRP. Sale price. We know motorhome specialist isn't selling it for that. And we know all our dealership groups are not selling it for anywhere close to that. So, Andrea, here's what I would like everybody to do. If you're ready to buy a Vacationer or a Bounder 36F or any motorhome, please go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out the first contact form. That's going to take you to RV retailer form. Fill out that form. We will get you in contact with somebody from my team that has that unit closest to you based off your zip code. And Andrea, it doesn't matter if you live in Florida, Texas, California, or New York, 
We will always get you guys the best price in America, but more importantly, the best service before, during, and after every sale. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yep. Holiday Rambler does read the comments, so they want to see what you guys have to say. Yes. Thank you to Motorhome Specialist yes. for letting us be here today. Um, I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.